first tip that I would recommend to beat your friends and family at poker is also one of the biggest mistakes that I see amateurs make and professionals alike too and the, that is to play fewer starting hands. So if there's one strategy I would say to implement to immediately take all the fat off so to speak easy way to lose 10 pounds or however you want to think about this analogy it's just to play fewer starting hands. I know that's not necessarily sexy, it's not necessarily fun because you have to be a lot more patient, you have to sit and wait for good opportunities to come and fold. You might get ridiculed by your friends and family, they might call you names or you know point fingers because you're being so tight, but at the end of the day it's a zero-sum game. You're trying to win their money, they're trying to win your money, and if you want to end up with more chips than you started with, play fewer hands. The second strategy to help you beat your friends and family at poker is to bring it in for a raise. I know home games are supposed to be friendly, it's a family pot or a friendly pot, that's all great, but again if you want to win money it helps to raise preflop. So if you're going to play a hand, be sure to raise two or three times the size of the big blind. That's a great strategy. It applies pressure right away. It forces other players to fold. And most important is it gives you leverage throughout the hand to win the pot. So what it does is it forces everybody else to be on defense. And in poker, you win by being on offense. You want to be the one throwing the punches. You don't want to be the one getting hit. So when you're on when you're the person that's raising preflop, you're the one that's on offense. Think about it like a sports game where you're the one that has the ball. You can score when you have the ball a lot easier. So you want to be on offense. And by raising preflop, it puts you on offense, puts other players on defense, and then you can win the pot post-flop, meaning after the next three cards are dealt, by betting and representing a strong hand. Regardless of whether you have a hand or not, you can bet and represent one because you were the preflop raiser. Raise preflop, you'll win more money. The third strategy to beat your friends and family at poker is to profile your opponents. Now this is the fun part, and this is where poker gets deep and uh, multifaceted, and there's a lot of different levels to the game, but the concept here is to realize that people's personalities are reflected in how they play poker. So if you're playing against your mother-in-law and they're really stubborn, they're probably not gonna fold. So don't bluff them. So it's important to think about like how they act as a person and their, their strengths and their character flaws and realize that those things are amplified. They're manifested and they're amplified in the poker table. And so you want to create a strategy for each unique player based on how you profile them as a person because how they are as a person is going to be reflected in how they play the game. Strategy number four to beat your friends and family at poker is to look for betting patterns. This is a great way to approach poker in general is you want to understand how people approach the game. So now that you've profiled your opponents, you want to understand who calls every bet with weak hands.